Okay. Hi guys. I was just going to give you a short tour of our new camper. It is the 2017-2106 Micro Mini Winnebago FBS. And I guess we'll just start over here. So, this is our power. Is it called a power jack? Power jack. Power jack. And so this helps us uh, lift and drop uh, the trailer so that when it makes it a lot easier to hook up to um, hook the trailer up to Penny um, and disconnect from Penny. It goes really fast. It's really easy and I can Wait. help Matt. We have a light for it tonight. Oh, yeah. There's a light on it right here. So if you have to unhook at night, you have that available to you. Um, we also got the um, brake assist thing, which is inside of Penny that helps the, the camper helps break uh, so that all the stress isn't just on Penny's brakes. And then also uh, we have a anti-sway bar that goes right here that helps stop you from fishtailing um, that we have installed, but you remove it before you back up. That's why it's not on right now. And we're currently disconnected because we're hooked into shore power and we have the camper level for the night. Um, the camper comes with one battery. I believe you can add another one, mm -hmm. uh, but it's just a regular like car battery that helps um, power all the interior lights and the uh, pump, like to flush uh, the toilet and um, wash your hands when you stop and you're not plugged in uh, to sh the shore power. Uh, but it doesn't run the microwave or the uh, air conditioner or the refrigerator. It's not strong enough for that. The propane. Huh? Propane. What's wrong? The propane tank. Oh! Comes with two 20 gallon propane tanks and this nifty cover for it which we have bungeed on so we don't lose it when we're traveling. Um, then we have our fancy pants pass through here. This is... You have a door just like this on the other side directly across from it so you can store all your stuff here. All your outdoor stuff, all your utility stuff, any extra things that you don't need in the camper all goes in here. Um, we have a power awning with an LED light string that goes all the way across the entire awning and the awning comes out about 13 feet have it rolled up right now because it might rain tonight and we don't want it to get wet. You're not supposed to roll it up when it's wet unless you can pull it out to let it dry so that you don't get mildew. So we're just going to keep it rolled up for the night. Uh, this little sink is right above, or this little window is right above the kitchen sink and it says hold Fisher May 1st. Um, okay, this is the fresh water uh, fill valve, is that right? Mm -hmm. So this is where you hook your hose in and fill up your tank for fresh water so that when you pull over on the side of the road and you need to use the sink or if you are camping somewhere where you are not able to hook into water, you have water available to you until you run out. So you have to be careful about how much you use. And we don't have it filled up all the way. We have it filled up just enough to use when we're on the road. This would be where if you wanted to have an outdoor TV, you can actually hook up an outdoor TV with a bracket right here, which is crazy to me, but you can do it. This is where you would hook into the cable for that. And this is where you would have your outdoor power for it, which we will probably use that at some point, but I don't think we will ever mount a TV. We won't even use the one that's inside. This is the back of the refrigerator. This is the furnace. Furnace, and this is the hot water heater. Um, we have a fully walkable roof that you come up to on this nice sturdy ladder. Matt will use this because he's the daredevil to get up on the top and check the seals of the roof. And every t uh, time uh, before we wheel in or pull in the awning or the slide to check to make sure there's nothing up there um, because if you roll that stuff up then obviously it can create a problem and break things and we don't want that to happen so 
That's what we'll use that for. This is our full size spare tire with the Winnebago logo. No tag because the state of Alabama doesn't give you 30 day or 60 day tags. So we already called the Douglas County Treasurer's office in a panic and they said, don't worry about it. Just come in when you get into town. So hopefully we don't have a sheriff behind us anywhere on the route. I'm sure it won't be the first time, but um, we're hooked into the water right here at this, this park. They provide uh, electric and water, but you can't hook into sewer here. Um, this is our water diffuser so that we don't blow out the lines. Uh, it helps um, regulate the water pressure before it comes into the camper. This is our water filter, which we don't drink the water that comes through the camper, but we do use it to bathe and wash dishes with and stuff, so we still use a filter. This is our electric panel and our fancy pants uh, surge protector. If you have three green lights here, you're good to go. If you have a blue light there, you're good to go, and a blue light there, we're good to go. That's all I need to know. This is where... <coughs> This is where you do your clean out for the black water, which is the water that comes from the potty. Um, the gray water is the water that comes from the sink and the shower. Um, and then you have the fresh water tank. But after you dump your gray water and your, well, I guess your black water and your gray water, then you can flush out the black water tank here. Um, and you get a special, we have a special hose with a clear plastic thing on the end so you can make sure that you have clear water running through that tells you that it's all cleaned out. This is where if we go to a even fancier um, RV park, you can hook into the park cable so you can watch TV, you know, from watch the cable TV or satellite TV um, hookup. This is the inlet for the fresh water which, so we don't have to use our water from our water tank. And it had, we got a special elbow here so that otherwise this hose would have to hook directly into here and you would get a kink in the hose. So we got this elbow to prevent that from happening. This is our outdoor shower. Behind here, there's an actual shower that you can use outside for like if you get muddy shoes or if you wanna wash a dog or whatever, wash off part of the camper. Um, I mean, you're not gonna be able to wash the whole camper with it, but I mean, it's for that kind of stuff. I just don't like that it's placed right here because this is a little inconvenient the way this is hooked up, but we probably won't use that a whole lot anyway. This is the slide that comes away from the camper. On the inside here is where our couch is. Um, so it gives us additional room when the slide is out. Of course, when you travel with it, the slide goes all the way in and is flush with the, the camper nice big window and these windows all these windows open out so if it rains um, you know if it's a hard rain obviously you're gonna have to close the window but if it if it's nice light rain you can still have these windows open and water's not gonna come in because these pull out this window is right next to the bed and it's a fire escape window this can pop out if we need to jump out um, in the event of a fire hopefully that will never happen this is the other side of the pass-through through door on the front end of the camper. And that's it. So let's go take a tour inside.